Welcome back to The Road Show. This morning in the Bonds, when you head to the polls next month, you won't just be choosing new state leaders. You'll also be deciding whether or not to change the state's name. The state's official name is Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. Now, here's the story behind it. Providence Plantations was a colony and was founded by Roger Williams. Now, the term Providence refers to a, a divine place or, you know, divinity. Plantations was a British term for a colony, but because of the misconception that it refers to slavery, the General Assembly, Assembly has decided to allow people to vote on whether or not to keep the name or to drop Providence Plantations. Now, take a look at what some people had to say. What do you think? I think it should be changed uh, just to state of Rhode Island and eliminate the Providence Plantations. It's got nothing to do with blacks, white, it's got nothing to do with that. It's Rhode Island. State of Rhode Island plantation. I mean, it's got nothing to do with slavery or nothing like that. If it hurts us or hurts some people, and it might have made sense in the past, it probably doesn't make sense now. Well, on November 2nd, we all get to vote on that issue, and that is uh, question one on the ballot. So what do you guys think? Should the name be changed? Well, I think this should be about 12th on the list of 10 things to yeah. do for mm -hmm. our state legislators in Rhode Island. Honestly, I've lived here my whole life, except, I mean, I went to college in New Hampshire and worked in TV up there for a little bit. I have never said to somebody, when Michelle said, hey, nice to meet you, Patrick, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Rhode Island and Providence Plantation. Right. Well, and they also think that's Long Island. Long Island, true, yeah. What so, part of New York is that you know, from? Yeah. A non-issue as far as I'm concerned. I, like I said, I'm from here. Didn't even, I knew it was, existed. I knew that was added to the name of the state, but, I mean, who cares? I mean, really, think, at this point? Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, let the people decide. I think, I think people are probably going to decide to just keep it as it is. Yeah. Don't bother with it. But, you know, we're three white people sitting here talking yeah. about this, and True. maybe exactly. we aren't able to feel the way others feel about it. So yeah. I think if it is offensive and you can get enough people to support it, then I think you're right. Most people will just say, I'm from Rhode Island. I think what well, you will see if we do change this and we change the implant. Well, first of all, the idea of it being a misconception, you know, there was there was some fire. Misconceptions can change the world. I mean, there was um, some flack taken by uh, someone at either a company or a university a few years back who was using the word miserly, um, penny pinching and that sort okay. of thing. It's the word niggardly. And that obviously has, um, you know, there is another word that has nothing to do with that word right. that has a, a, is a slur sure. and it sounds similar. And so that person ended up losing their job over it when it had one had nothing to do with the other. If plantations has nothing to do with slavery but has to do with uh, the word being a colony, I don't think that there should be any offense taken. I don't think there's a need to take offense. But also I think if they do, if we do decide that we're going to remove the word yeah. plantations, it's going to pave the way to remove the word Providence and change the name Providence because religious overtones, it has right. religious overtones. Providence has to do with a higher power's insight and oversight. And so if we, change, if we take away plantations, I think there's a really good chance that someone will say, listen, I'm offended as an atheist or an, as an agnostic that this whole city is named in, in reference to divinity. And I think that that could be offensive. And we may find that somewhere down the road, people want to change even the name Providence. Well, I'll just say this. I don't the, as many people that would be offended by it staying there, I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be offended if they take it away. You know okay. what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if they change it to just Rhode Island, that's what I've known it as anyway since 1972. So I'd get over it quick. It's good trivia too for your. It really uh, is. Yeah, it is. Where are you from? Yeah. Isn't it? Lo smallest state, longest yeah. name, yeah, exactly. which is pretty interesting. I want to throw over to Melissa Sardelli, who's actually live this morning at the Twin River Events Center, and uh, she's blogging this morning. And, and Mel, we're curious as to what uh, our viewers are saying. Should the name be changed? Yeah, well, I have to say, you know, we're getting a little bit of everything on the live blog this morning. Some people are saying they are offended by it, and other people are saying, you know what? It's been this way for 200 years, so why change it now? But uh, let's read some comments this morning from some of our bloggers and see what they have to say. Aaron S. says, it's been this way for 200 years, so why change it? And Smokey Wolf says, I think it may be offensive, but for some... I can go either way. And our Facebook friends are always weighing in and have a lot to say about today's buzz question. John Cook says, I think we should leave the state's name alone. The word plantation in the state's name does not have the same meaning as we relate it to slavery. And I kind of agree. You know, I, for one, don't take it offensively. I do see what Patrick is saying. You know, if you remove it, a lot of people aren't going to be offended. So, I don't know. Let the voters decide. But